Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. First of all, a big thanks to all of you for hitting that like button and for writing a comment. Uh, I promised last week that if we reach the 100 like uh, for the weekly overview for the previous week uh, that I will uh, choose one of the comments to win a free subscription for my trading room for one month. We didn't reach that 100 likes, so I hope that we uh, gonna do so this week instead, and I still have the same promise for you. So, while I wrote the interim disclaimer, hit that like button for me, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Yeah, welcome back guys um, we have a pretty important week ahead of us uh, next week uh, there's a lots of major news events as you see but the most important one is of course uh, the FOMC on uh, Wednesday uh, and uh, on uh, Thursday we have also uh, a very big day with the GDP quarter and quarter from New Zealand employment uh, change and unemployment rate for all the um, uh, Boji press conference and monetary statement uh, also for the chief uh, monetary policy assessment and for the sterling uh, official bank rate and the monetary uh, policy summary and the most important thing is the rate votes that we also gonna uh, see so um, lots of news events for next week keep an eye on those each and every day so you can uh, be ready for what may happen uh, we'll start with uh, the Dixie and uh, yeah a short um, thing about this uh, that I've been mentioning for a while that these candles was very very strange candles on my uh, chart and now when I look at uh, a different Dixie chart we see that none of these uh, are there actually as you see here even uh, this week there is nothing here but here on my chart we do have this strange candle and this spike below uh, before that and all these candles they are not actually on uh, this chart we have just a nice uh, trending mar market here without any spikes so uh, since i have all my uh, levels on my uh, chart i will work with this one but uh, again try to um, not see this uh, last push on uh, the last hour of Friday as we have uh, had the last four weeks back uh, those stranger candles uh, we had so um, as if this is not here we will uh, talk uh, about the Dixie yeah so what happened on the Dixie after the uh, draggy speech and all that so um, we had uh, a, a very strong uh, spike to the upside here uh, first reaction was uh, a move to the upside when we reach uh, this uh, pretty important level we start seeing the market reversing to the downside all the way actually below this level and uh, the day after on friday we had the continuation and another move to the upside i still think this uh, may happen even though it is not there um, that this market now after breaking this low one could expect a retest and continuation this is uh, still uh, very possible unless you see a uh, strong break above this level and then that we hold above monthly pivot point for another attempt to the upside yeah so for now and the uh, short term uh, i think uh, this still a possibility that you see uh, the dollar uh, continuing after this retest to the downside to maybe reach this uh, this trend line we have here on this market to then also reach this key level of uh, support and resistance that we had previously so that is my first um, view on the dollar for the beginning of next week and uh, to then wait for the FOMC and see uh, how uh, dovish will uh, uh, the Fed gonna be they gonna cut rate but 
uh, that is old news now and uh, we want to uh, to see if this was uh, gonna be a uh, hawkish or a dovish uh, cut which mean uh, the forward guidance is the most important thing and that gonna uh, be more explained in that press conference that uh, Jerome Powell gonna have and we really need to listen to that oil uh, I should <laughs> I think we, we uh, it's best to not talk about oil today mm, because after this uh, news event that the um, Saudis oil output cut in half after those the drones uh, strike uh, strikes on uh, Aramco sites um, it's gonna be a very big gap I think and it depends where you read and what you read there is people talking about um, at least a um, $10 uh, gap uh, on the open there is uh, people talking about uh, oil going back to 100 because of that but it is actually very early to know how uh, big this cut is and uh, for how long that is the most important thing we're gonna we need to focus on uh, on the headlines release uh, today and tomorrow especially at the beginning of this week to know um, how long is this uh, gonna be uh, happening and uh, is it really a um, uh, very very damaging situation or not so oil i will not mention much i want to wait for the open and see how big of a gap we have uh, our levels are still uh, the same the 60 was an important level but the question is um, are we gonna have as a large gap above that because um, reading around seems like uh, the ten dollar is uh, what uh, many are mentioning a ten dollar uh, gap to the upside which which means we are gonna see oil around uh, this level up here uh, around the 65 uh, area okay so um, actually when uh, when we have such a scenario in the market giving you a uh, forecast right now is like um, ah, talking bullshit in my opinion best to wait for the open and see what may happen it is uh, gonna be a gap the question I don't have uh, any idea about um, how big of a gap to be honest so um, I will monitor this on the open and we will take things from um, from there uh, gold um, pushing lower again after a uh, retest of this uh, broken neckline here so we got a retest and a continuation to the downside but still we are um, sitting here the price is sitting as uh, at this support level I think there is a possibility that we see a continuation in my opinion on the weekly chart uh, the continuation may happen back down toward monthly as one at least to reach these uh, these structures here before uh, the bulls start uh, getting interested and um, the best level would be the 1365 area down here a retest to this level would be great level to buy so as for now i'm um, looking for a short on gold especially that the rsi also on the weekly time frame start dipping to the downside and there is a little a bit more room to the downside than the upside at such a after such a huge move yeah so i'm only interesting to sell so how to sell it it is pretty easy here on this structure i think um, everyone can see this now if we go down to the four hour time frame we had this push lower a lower high and uh, i'm waiting to see if we're gonna break below this level if that is the case looking for a retest and the continuation to the downside first target down here around the monthly s1 and then a continuation toward uh, 1365 all the way down here would be a, a great second target uh, on uh, this market yeah so uh, i'm looking to sell it is a uh, counter trend trade but we i think we do have a nice stop now forming here 
and uh, we want to see the break and the continuation to the downside to be more sure about it you don't go short now because we are sitting on support and i would say also be a little bit careful uh, that news about uh, the saudis is not only about uh, uh, oil uh, if uh, since uh, the us is blaming uh, the iranian this may uh, take a totally different turn and uh, if the situation escalate gold will uh, be bullish anyway and the stock market to start being bearish so um, be aware of that uh, risk aversion as well if you start uh, seeing headlines uh, mentioning um, more and more er er iran and uh, and uh, an escalating situation would uh, put the market in a bit of a risk aversion and uh, you may see gold bullish anyway even though the price is very high here usd uh, euro usd <clears throat> so after the first reaction to the downside on this market let's go to the daily time frame to see where we are at after the first reaction to the downside and tagging the previous low which making now a pretty nice double bottom uh, we had a uh, reversal, a uh, total reversal of the move. Mm, the price uh, went all the way back uh, and uh, broke above uh, this structure to then reach this um, key trend line we have um, on the daily and the four hour time frame. This is a pretty nice uh, trend line we had uh, here and we got a retest of that on Friday. Now, if we look at this chart, guys, uh, it is still a bearish chart there is uh, no discussions about that uh, lower lows and lower highs as you see here and um, what we had so far is this double bottom and a push higher will that change the total structure yet in my opinion no not yet i still uh, see the euro to be <clears throat> sorry a weaker currency than the dollar longer term but uh, is there a, um, a reversal short term on this market? Maybe, uh, but I'm not considering that unless I see this market pressing above this previous high, above the channel, above the 200 moving average on the four hour to then see a, a retest that hold and maybe the continuation. But as for now, the price is testing a key level of resistance and if this uh, next week showing me a strong push to the downside and a, a slow correction to the upside, I still think we may see the continuation. So um, still bearish uh, longer term. I still think the euro uh, gonna reach this level down here and maybe close the gap um, uh, of the Macron election uh, longer term. But short term we gonna uh, we have to wait and see are we gonna get a break above this structure back above this uh, key level of uh, support here been tested many times as support so if that is the case and we hold above this level on the retest then we maybe have a short term reversal to the upside to reach another key level of um, a structure up here and uh, where we also have the 200 moving average on the daily so early next week keep an eye on this level this is going to be a very very important structure but a strong uh, push lower and a correction slow correction like this a flag or something like that gonna signal a continuation to the downside sterling pushing very strongly to the upside if we go to the weekly time frame we had another very strong week after this bullish engulfing a continuation now and it seems like we have a market objective to reach uh, this level up here once again the 1.26 which was a very important structure is uh, probably the market objective so if we go down to the daily we see on friday we got a nice break and close above uh, this previous structure and uh, they're gonna keep pushing at least toward 1.26 on this uh, market so after this break to the upside 
I'm uh, watching a possible uh, retest uh, toward this level to look for a buy toward 1.26 uh, even handed number. So keep an eye on this level down here and start looking for bullish evidence if we reach that area. USD Jappy um, <coughs> closed my um, half of my position here at 108. So as you know, I've been long from uh, down here around 106. Uh, 20 and uh, now uh, closed half that position at 108 108 which is a, an important number and uh, I want to see if this market gonna push all the way to 108 80 as well so I left some on the table moved my stop loss in profit as well and uh, looking to see if we gonna get that continuation now if we go down to the four hour time frame we start seeing that this market did lose some momentum here at this structure yeah there is uh, no um, major higher highs ongoing and uh, we like uh, stopped here we start having a strong divergence on the four hour and the one hour time frame as you see here on the one hour we have a clear triple top divergence going on and uh, i'm itching a possibility of a move like this next week to then start look for possible bounce from the monthly pivot point yeah so <clears throat> short term be aware of a possible uh, reversal here especially if we manage to break below um, this level uh, if the break happen then you may see a deeper correction toward the monthly pivot point before the next move to the upside USD chief still uh, trending higher on the uh, four hour time frame. But if we switch to the daily, uh, we see also that uh, we keep having troubles at the 200 moving average. So after a retest of that, we had a very strong push to the downside. But if we look at this move here, we still have higher lows and uh, higher highs uh, all the way. So still in a trending channel to the upside right now it could be a uh, correction channel uh, absolutely uh, for this leg correcting and uh, one more move to the downside that is uh, very possible but we cannot say that this uh, is a reversal yet to the downside so for our time frame structure is still higher highs and higher lows but after reaching this level we start having some issues i mentioned in our trading room that we start having divergence and uh, losing momentum and we were like pretty uh, much uh, <clears throat> getting ready for uh, some kind of correction to the downside so if we go down to the one hour here you see that we have this trend line still holding as uh, support and um, for next week any retest toward this uh, little uh, minor structure here that showing bullish evidence then you may have another attempt to the upside but let's not forget this up here gonna be a key structure so if there is no break above this we're gonna get another push to the downside if we break above that uh, structure then there is a continuation to the upside on this market so be aware of that and for totally change this um, bullish uh, momentum we have right now this bullish move here to change that uh, that will happen if we get a break below this uh, trend line then we wait for a correction and a continuation to the downside on uh, this market USD CAD um, I'm in a short got triggered very late uh, Friday um, and uh, for a simple reason and I've been mentioning this on all my weekly overviews uh, we've been talking about um, this move here that broke uh, all the levels gave us a major lower low and uh, we were looking for um, retest and continuation so the continuation started here but then we had this possible correction to the upside happening so i'm looking for the continuation of this leg to the downside so i'm uh, <coughs> short here got triggered uh, just below the 618 uh, fibonacci retracement of this whole move 
four hour time frame and um, as you see also it does not look uh, pretty uh, pretty right now since all the candle are uh, bullish and there is still momentum um, i had a limit order it got triggered you uh, depends on your um, uh, rules you may be gonna wait for uh, some bearish evidence before um, taking the trade it's uh, up to you depends on everyone's way of trading but what i see here uh, right now we have already on the four hour time frame uh, hidden bearish divergence uh, on this market and um, yeah 618 previous structure here and um, <clears throat> i'm looking for that continuation now if we get that gap uh, we talked about in oil this may help uh, this trade a lot and we may get a gap to the downside on the open uh, for the usd cat so i'm pretty positive now uh, on this uh, trade and hopefully uh, we're gonna reach uh, target one um, pain free let's wait and see but my uh, second target is um, all the way down here yeah so basically that's it uh, what i'm doing here a break retest continuation on uh, usd cat <clears throat> aussie usd also start a nice uh, move to the upside but as you see since we reach this level we start uh, having uh, dojis uh, very small bodies on the daily candle rsi is already uh, giving us um, hidden bearish divergence here as you see between this high and this high so it is already at the uh, overbought and um, giving us uh, those um, bearish divergence for our time frame we are losing uh, momentum here as you see and uh, we have uh, a strong uh, bearish divergence a normal bearish divergence on the four hour time frame lost momentum there is no continuation as we had during this push to the upside so i'm expecting this market to maybe start uh, a possible correction back down to at least 50 percent fibonacci retracement of this move here before a possible bounce higher so be aware of that but it does not mean that you're gonna open uh, on um, tonight and just see it uh, going like this it could still actually push slowly 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 toward this neckline here before that uh, reversal happen yeah so be aware of that new zealand usd <coughs> was uh, a bit earlier than uh, aussie usd so this one reversed already uh, without reaching my level of interest i was actually looking for this area up here uh, to be reached to make me interested to take the short so i didn't short this market from this level uh, it was a good level on the four hour time frame we had some structure but still uh, the best would be uh, to see this market going toward this areas we didn't get that now i'm waiting to see if this is gonna be an impulse correction down here toward uh, this area around the 50 percent fibonacci and then the cd leg to continue toward monthly r1 okay so that is what i'm looking for on this market first next week especially that we broke back above this level i want to see if this area gonna act as support giving bullish evidence then we have at least a short term uh, trade here this leg uh, toward these structure this is gonna be a pretty interesting level to see if the bears gonna enter back down um, <coughs> enter and push the price back down here okay so uh, be uh, aware of that keep an eye on this uh, level down here around the 50 percent retracement of this leg before uh, you um, enter so uh, yeah that was it guys uh, thanks a lot and uh, see you next week now i need to keep 
uh, doing this for our trading room and uh, do the rest of uh, these uh, charts uh, down here as you see to the to the right so if you are interested to getting these videos each and every day all you need to do is uh, go to my website the link is down here as you see and um, join our um, trading and chat room where i do daily videos every day all these charts you see here on my watch list each and every morning uh, daily updates and fundamental updates and of course it is a place where um, others send their uh, trade ideas and a pretty active room and i'm sure you're gonna love it so again if you're interested we have a 14 days trial for one dollar right now thanks a lot see you next week bye bye